You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's up you to me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you into the Let's Play episode of Glory Hounds. So, all you know, my partner's sleeping behind me, so I'm gonna be a little bit quieter than usual today. So let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> let's see. There we go. Okay. At last, the money talk scout is almost back where it ought to be. All's well that ends well. This has been one of the longest, most tiring days of my life. Strangely, also one of the most rewarding. When I woke up this morning, I didn't think I'd be facing down an entire pirate crew and actually live to tell the tale, much less win. And all because of my quick thinking. Maybe this is just the right career path for me after all. You did great out there, Spot. So did you. I mean, I saw you work... I saw you work... I saw you work back at the store, but I had no idea you could fight like that. Wish things came as easily to me as they do to you. I just got lucky. Believe me, it took years of Milo beating the living tar out of me until I was even halfway decent at fighting. Great, something to look forward to. You'll get there. It's just a matter of confidence and sticking to it. For now, just bask in the feeling of a job well done. So, this is what that's supposed to feel like. My previous job didn't give me any satisfaction, so it's pretty new to me. Confidence, huh? Something you will build with time. Milo, you made it! Even I celebrate when job is well done, yes? You may have made innumerable bad decisions today. Form is still sloppy. Teamwork needs improving. But you fought like champion. He gives my head a pat. I don't think I'll ever get used to his strength. He could squish me like a grape if he tried. Mr. Donham, uh, Mr. Duskhound, Mimi! I am ever so relieved to see that you came back al that you come back alive and unharmed. I would say unharmed. I'm gonna be feeling this for days, if not weeks to come. And you brought the gown with you as well. I think you'd manage to get that brute to relinquish it. I don't think he'll be bothering you again anytime soon. I should hope not. With that, I think it's about time to put this gown back on the mannequin, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. He presses the button on the watertight capsule we brought back from Ahab's place. Um... A cloud of smoke wafts out from it, so thick I can barely see through it. Much less breathe. It's like someone dunked an entire perfume store in there. Rowell laughs while coughing. Ha! <laughs> Ahab sure has to flare for the dramatic. Golly! Hot meat kettle. When the smoke clears, I hear Fenn a gasp. It's empty! Shit. Empty? What are we gonna do? Did Ahab dupe us? I don't think so. Hold on a moment. Well, reaches into the container and fishes out a small card, not unlike the calling card from earlier. It's bright pink with gold lettering all over it. The font is so ornate, it's almost, Ill it's almost illegible. It's a business card. Camo. Does that ring any bells? He flashes it to me. I'm pretty sure I remember a name like that. Hold on, the chameleon! He disappeared at, right after the bar fight. Right after the fight at the bar. He must have switched the capsules out when we weren't looking. Maybe even before that. Ah, yes, the rapscallion who tongued me. Phrasing! Can you believe he wrapped his tongue all the way around my... <clears throat> I do remember a chameleon gentleman working at the temp agency I hired, jan I hired the janitors at. Uh, can you contact them? I've been trying, but the number is no longer in use. Must have been a sham from the start. In more ways than one, he even double crossed, even double crossed Ahab. I wonder how the syndicate came across him. If only we could interrogate them. Ahab. I will look into the matter further at base. I suggest we reconvene in the morning and discuss new findings. I'm sorry we failed you, Miss Fenna. Just bring it back, please. We will. You have our word. Tap my chin as gears start to turn in my head. Hmm. What's wrong, Spot? Nothing. I think I have an idea of where to start looking for information. I reached for the scrap of paper Ahab gave me before everything went to shit. It's still a little wet from my watery adventure earlier, but the number is legible. I shoot him a text. What are you doing? A little personal investigation. I can't let them know I'm going to meet up with Ahab. I get a text back right away. Bingo. I'll be at base tomorrow morning. One second, y'all. It is water time. Hmm. Alright, I suppose I'll look into security camera footage around town. He's bound to have shown up somewhere. We all have mission. Only thing left is to execute. We'll find that gown, Fenna. Don't you worry. I trust you will. Please, take care. She looks a little defeated, but a smile tugs at her lips. With that, this long day finally draws to a close. You'll meet up with Ahab. Oh, yeah. 
After changing into one, and after changing one of the bathrooms, I say goodbye to Raul and Milo to get the walking, get to walking where Ahab and I agreed to meet. As much as I don't want to right now, I should probably give Lou a call. But to God, they haven't called every news station in town, or worse, told Wilm about what went down. It takes them less than a second to answer. So, are you finally going to tell me what's been going on with you? Because that sure didn't look like cleaning to me. What the hell have you been getting into? I'm sorry, Lou. My life's just been a blur for the past week. And I'm pretty sure it was supposed to keep the whole hero thing a secret. Well, you did a splendid job. Yeah, I really botched that. Technically, being sworn to secrecy was more implied than outright stated. Look, Milo, um, the, the big Russ, the big, big Russ Crow you met told me to invite you to meet up to a meetup so I can explain what's going on. Well, all right, but I've already got three blog posts already ready to go, and I'm, I'm gonna need a good reason not to post them. Because I said please. <laughs> you drive a hard bargain. When you told me you found a new job, I never would have thought it involved spandex. Neoprene. I faint a cough. What? It's mostly neoprene, actually, and some advanced faux leather. You know how ridiculous that sounds, right? I know, I can still barely believe it myself if I'm being honest. I'm just worried about you, Alex. That Milo guy was really laying into your friend while you were unconscious. It didn't sound like either of you were thinking things through very, very carefully. Yeah, my boss is also sort of new at this, but hey, the pay's better. A way to brush aside the issue. Look, all I can say for now is that I feel like I made a difference today. Like I'm maybe sort of starting to believe in myself. I might not, I might not have gotten the gown back in the end, but I kicked some crime boss ass. A lemur passing by looks at me funny and I lower my voice. I mean, I took care of things. Uh huh. And how many times did you almost die today? Uh, only three times. I'm still learning. Uh-huh. Listen, just come to the anniversary party at the Hain tomorrow, okay? I'll bring, me, I'll bring Milo and... I mean, the boss, and we can explain the whole thing. Okay, but you owe me big time. I'll babysit for you as much as you want. A deal. Alright. After texting Max to let him know I'll be home late, I yawn loudly, thrusting my hands into my pockets. It's chilly out, just a few degrees colder than this, and I had to put, on, I put my gloves on. Crowds of people pass me by, most likely none of them aware of what happened today. I wonder if it'll show up on the news. I mean, we did kind of wreck that bar. Hoi, lad, there you are. I have a season to spot. Aside from the giraffes, he's basically the tallest in the crowd. He walks on over. No, it's more like he hobbles on over. I guess he's still recovering. Hi! I don't know where to start. How do you even approach a mob boss who smacks in the balls with a grappling gun? Milo's training didn't exactly cover that. Before I can make up my mind, though, he's closed the distance. I swallow. I don't think I'll get used to how big he is anytime soon. Hope you didn't wait too long. We'd be dealing with some uh, workplace issues. Oh, no, I just got here. Grand. Crickets. So, uh, where to? I was thinking of having a few drinks down at the pub and seeing where the night takes us. Be it your place or mine. Someone's confident. Might have cocked up at work, but that doesn't mean the ship's sinking anytime soon. He leans in close. Real close. Then whispers into my ear. One second, y'all. Water time. You look better without the mask, laddie. I shudder. So you do know. Hard not to. You don't change your voice or anything. And you got all those spots. You be the Dalmatian that was on the news when Ishmael robbed the little old lass, yeah? It wasn't hard to put two and two together once I saw you at the Dawn Hound. So he... See, I knew that face boring did nothing. And you still came? What can I say? You're cute. Don't think I can't see that. Don't think I can't see that little tail of yours wagging away there. Shit, it is wagging. Hell, I'm surprised you called me, especially after what went down at the bar. I'm surprised you were willing to meet up after what happened to your, you know. I try not to gesture to his groin. My eyes are still drawn to it. Har! It's a mere occupational hazard. We were simply flying different flags that time. Nothing personal, I'm sure, lad. Besides, you just got lucky. Heh! <laughs> We creamed you guys. We still beat you at the gallery. Guess the score is one to one then. <laughs> Next time we meet, I'll kick your booty into the darts and no mistake. He's surprisingly upbeat about the whole thing. I have some questions I wanted to ask you, actually. Well, I'd be versatile, though. I lean towards but No, not that. The gown's missing. What? He seems as surprised as I was. One of your henchmen took it. I need to know where he could be. So that be why Kamu scurried off like a dark rat. He clenches his jaw as he softly growls the name. Do you have any information on him? He chuckles. Aye, I do. Spill it. 
You'd be no friend of mine, but I need some convincing before I talk. I can be very persuasive. With a pretty little face like that, I'd be certain of it. Join me for a round at the pub. You're on. Ah, damn. That was... Okay. Alright, y'all, that was the end of, uh, issue two. Ooh, man. I can't wait to see where else this game goes. I'm loving it so... Ooh, Cookie with Max? Okay. What up, dudes? You really... Y'all you, ready to reach maximum altitude? Welcome to the second exciting episode of Cooking with Max, where we talk me... Where we take meals that are gross and make them the most. What? New viewer dudes might be wondering, but gee, Max, you don't have a mouth. How are you going to even eat the food? How are you even talking, actually? I mean to tell you that your views are narrow-minded and stupid, man. No lips, no problem. When you're really passionate about something, dude, you don't let anybody stop you. Not even your roommate. Sure, he had to get his stomach pumped up, pumped after I made pasta, but you know what, dudes? I just gave him some room for dessert. Speaking of dessert, and today we're making, drumroll please, uh, where'd I put it again? Ah, here, a box cake. Now, y'all, I wanted to make apple pie, but my roomie won't let me try once try one again at it after I used tomatoes instead of apples last time. But he's not around tonight. Instead, I'd like to introduce my special guest week guest this week, Ishmael. Huh? What? Me? Don't be shy, my bodacious barracuda buddy. Baking cakes is something everyone can do, even if your mom tells you not tells you not to after you get the neighborhood evacuated because of a grease fire. That's BR very specific. Don't even worry about it, man. I'm gonna show you the ropes. Got this killer recipe that I tweaked to make it super awesome. Er, I don't think you're supposed to meddle with bacon recipes. Bacon's not a science, man. You just gotta trust in the process and follow your heart. But you don't even have a milk, milk listed on the recipe. No worries, I put together a gnarly substitute. Uh, I think I hear the captain calling. Mayhaps I should... I put it... I'm blending some may mayonnaise and cream cheese with some vinegar to thin it out. Did you take cooking lessons from Shoichi? Jesus Christ. Looks like just the, looks just like the real thing. It'd be looking gnarly indeed. I suppose I'd be lucky to have this helmet on or the smell would, the smell alone would end to be life. Okay, let's get this show on the road before my roommate gets home. Just follow my instructions and we'll have an outrageous cake in no time. Oh, it'll be outrageous all right. So this beer I mix the eggs and flour, I. Do you know how many chemicals are in today's eggs and flour, man? Er, none? We're using this. Instant egg mixture and breadcrumbs? Not just any breadcrumbs, dude. Panko! That's what they use in anime all the time. Who is this anime and why is she making cake with breadcrumbs? It's to provide that solid structure. But the recipe be saying. Following the recipes for the birds. We gotta show off our individuality. How long I how long be I supposed to mix this? Until it's nice and smooth. All it be, all it is, all it be is wet and goopy. Just keep mixing, dude. Trust the process. Are you sure this mixture won't end up highly toxic? Me thinks we will. Me thinks we shouldn't. You gotta stop limiting your own creativity, dude. I think it'd be done. And so is me sanity. Let me take a look. Yeah, dude. Just gotta sprinkle on some olives now. Olives? What in the seven seeds you need olives on the cake for? For texture, of course. I'd add chocolate, but I used it use on the lasagna I made yesterday. It can't be for real. Oh, I'm the realist. Now let's bake this baby. I suppose we'd best be best get on preheat the kill the kiln or the oven. I. That'll take forever, man. We don't have that kind of time. Put her in the microwave. But the recipe be saying to put it in the oven for an hour. Who has time to wait that long these days? Just nuke it on high for ten minutes instead. Be absolutely sure. That's what chefs do on TV all the time. It'd be in there. Fair winds and following seas. That means we just gotta wait. And then we feast. Feast, you mean. And as my special guest, you get the honors of trying the first bite. Ah! Well, it's fun, but... But my job be done. I think I'll be departing. Don't be silly, dude. This is the perfect time for a chat with our viewers. So, got anything you want to say to our wonderful audience? Just one thing. Hi, B. Hey, Max. Um, I'm home. And so is this guy I brought with me. Rumi, you're just in time for one of my videos. Say hi to Alex, dudes. Wait, Ishmael's here? Spotty's here? Whoa, I'm sensing some bad vibes here. Ishmael, what you be doing here? 
Cabin? Listen, uh, we'll be in my room. If you hear any weird noises, uh, I got a new game. No problem, my guy. Wanna come down and have a slice of cake later? That'd be sounding mighty fine. No, heavens no. We're okay. Bye. And he's gone. Well, viewer Reno's, it was worth a try. Do you smell that? What, the scent of success? Shit, the cake, it's burning! Oh, well, I guess that's it for this episode, folks. Tune in next time when I'll show you how to make a sweet and sour strawberry oyster sundae. Gotta run! Oi, don't leave me with your kitchen fire. What in blazes am I supposed to do? I don't even live here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Harder, laddie, harder! Yes, Captain! Power she blows! Oh my god. <laughs> what even the fuck is this ending? I love it. It was incredible. Oh my god. Oh, Glory Hounds is really awesome so far. I'm really enjoying it. Can't wait till we get more issues of it. God, I love the art style of, like, everything about it. It's fantastic. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks, or if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!